Hello and welcome. My name is David Ackland and today it is my pleasure to present to you an overview of the Mac OS X Support Essentials training course. This presentation has been designed for anyone who has been wondering what is included in the Support Essentials course and how it can benefit yourself, your company or your employees. A question I'm often asked is, what is the Support Essentials? Well, if I was to describe the course in one sentence, I would say that it is a three-day, fast-paced, hands-on leader-led course run by highly experienced Apple certified technical trainers designed to equip you with all the tools needed to successfully resolve OS X issues first time, every time. So who should attend this course? Well, the class is for help desk specialists, technical coordinators, service technicians, IT managers, or anyone who is responsible for supporting Mac OS X users. This could include help desk personnel in businesses that use Mac OS X systems for creative design, or technical coordinators who manage networks of OS X computers for their organisations. You may also be thinking, how will this benefit me? From teaching the course myself, many of my students have told me that after the training, they learned a great deal regarding effective systematic troubleshooting methods for OS X, and that they feel far more confident using the troubleshooting utilities built into the operating system. Our students have also been pleasantly surprised when they discover OS X features they had no idea existed. The course will also prepare you for the Support Essentials exam, which, upon passing, will grant you the Apple Certified Help Desk Specialist, or ACHDS, certification. If you would like to progress further after attaining your Apple Certified Help Desk Specialist status, you can follow it up with Mac OS X Server Essentials, which, after passing the exam, will give you the Apple Certified Technical Coordinator certification. Apple also offer a System Administrator certification. Please visit www.amsys.co.uk forward slash training for more information. Next, I'd like to take you through the course content. The first chapter is simply an introduction. Each student will introduce themselves to the class and that will allow the instructor to help the individual meet their objectives. We will then explain the course schedule and the format for the days ahead. The next chapter covers the Mac OS X installation process. Here we will look at common issues that can arise and how best to troubleshoot the problems. Chapter 3 covers creating and administering user accounts. The instructor explains the user account system preference in depth and how to troubleshoot issues with user accounts. The students will then work through a series of exercise labs to practice what they have learnt. Chapter 4 looks at file systems and specifically the Apple HFS Plus file system. The students will learn how to format drives and how to manage files within the operating system. A cause of many headaches for support staff is permissions. This can unfortunately arise from a lack of understanding the Mac OS X permissions model. Chapter 5 takes an opportunity to explain how permissions work in OS X, some of the common issues users can be faced with, and how to correct common permission issues. Chapter 6 will look at the supported application environments within OS X. The students will complete application troubleshooting labs where they get a chance to rectify issues with misbehaving applications. In the next chapter, the students will move from the automatic transmission graphical user interface to the manual transmission command line. They will learn how to use some of the common Unix utilities that will aid them in administering OS X and some of the more powerful troubleshooting tools that can only be accessed from the command line. The following three chapters concentrate on networking in OS X. Firstly, we cover how to set up network access for workstations. The students will then get some hands-on practice troubleshooting networking issues. Chapter 9 is certainly one of the more advanced sections of the course. The students will look at how to access typical network services such as Apple and Windows file servers, email servers and web servers. They will also spend some hands-on time binding OS X clients to an LDAP-based directory system. Chapter 10 will look at how to provide basic network services from OS X clients. This will include file sharing, web sharing and remote desktop access to name a few. The students will also look at how to manipulate the built-in Mac OS X firewall. The next chapter changes the subject away from networking and takes a look at how to work with peripherals in OS X. The students will learn about the common connection methods such as USB and Bluetooth and how to troubleshoot issues with external devices. Chapter 12 teaches the students how to configure and administer printers in OS X, including local and network-based printers. Another important skill for any OS X support professional is startup troubleshooting. The instructor will walk the students through the startup process, explaining some of the issues that can present themselves and how to efficiently fix them. 
The students will then try a few of the techniques they have learned in a hands-on lab. The final chapter will cover Apple's general troubleshooting flowchart and teaches the students the most effective systems in use today for isolating the cause of issues quickly and efficiently. A more in-depth breakdown of each chapter can be found on our website www.amsys.co.uk forward slash training. Well, thank you very much for watching this podcast. If you'd like to book a place on this course or view our training schedule, please visit the URL www.amsys.co.uk forward slash training.